question about long-acting therapy, it's a really important one. We have terrific therapies, but they all require that people take pills every day. Um, so there's a, been a, a strong interest in, in, uh, in developing long-acting therapy. So we've seen what's called phase two data. So we've seen data on uh, injectable therapy that can be given either monthly or every other month uh, to people who have HIV who have already been suppressed on their current therapy. Um, and that study has now been out to over two years, 96 weeks, um, showing actually that, that the, both injectable arms were um, about as good, maybe even a little bit better than continued oral therapy. But the proof, of course, is in the larger phase three studies. Um, two large phase three studies are ongoing. Um, they're fully enrolled um, and should reach their primary endpoint in the next year or so. So realistically, when will it be in the hands of clinicians? I would say it's probably about two years uh, from now. Um, the therapy, um, it's injectable. It's an intramuscular injection. So it's an, it's, a, it's an injection that has to be given by a healthcare provider at this point. Um, I think the longer term goal, which we're talking you know, five years or more, are therapies that can be given even less often, maybe every three months or even maybe every six months and perhaps could be given in um, uh, not necessarily in a healthcare setting or might be implantable like some contraceptive. So th that's the kind of longer term future. The short term future I think is about two years um, for an injectable therapy, provided of course that the phase three studies you know, meet their mark. Yeah, we think it'll improve treatment adherence. Um, there's several ways to look at it. It, it might be particularly good for people that um, uh, have problems with pills, so, so they're engaged in care, but they just can't take pills very well. Um, but also, I think it's an opportunity to, to reach people that um, can't stay engaged in care. Um, and we might need, you know, kind of novel ways to reach them, you know, um, uh, looking at other ways to, to um, administer the drug. Could it be done in pharmacies? Could it be done in, um, uh, you know, uh, different healthcare settings, not necessarily in an HIV specialized healthcare setting? Could we even do it in a mobile way to, to reach out pe to people using vans or other um, ways to kind of go out to people to give the therapy? But yeah, adherence um, is, is a big goal. But a lot of people just don't want to take pills. Even people who are really adherent, you, what you'll hear sometimes is, um, every day I take a pill, every day I'm reminded that I have to have HIV and I have to take this pill. So there's some people that are very adherent that would prefer to be on an injection, especially if it was every two or every three months. 